is nothing you can do to prevent an injury. You can reduce your risk of an injury. Let's talk about the injuries I've gone through. Two herniated discs in my lumbar spine, two bulge discs in my lumbar spine, two herniated discs in my cervical spine, a fully torn right pectoral, partially torn left pectoral, partially torn left adductor, partial muscle tears in both of my hips. And yet, a few weeks ago, I squatted over 600 pounds and deadlifted over 700 pounds. How is this possible? Mr. Lane Norton, come on man, injuries aren't a badge of honor. And based on that list you gave out of what you're currently dealing with, I would say it's more of a sign of you actually getting hurt from your lifting, despite the numbers you're putting up. Now let's dig into the studies. Systematic reviews and the randomized controlled trials, it is quite clear that static stretching does not reduce the risk of injury. Well, what do you know? Let me back you up on that, Lane. Not only will stretching not prevent injuries, it will also not prevent pain. And most importantly, if you do routine stretching, it's going to cause pain and injuries because you are stretching around imbalances every time you do it, that's an imbalance. We have seen it thousands of times at functional patterns. And this is why we tell people to focus more on moving correctly. This is how you build flexibility without causing more imbalance in your body. So we're clear, stretching will lengthen some parts of your muscles like here and here, around the imbalance. Now, whether that's good or not, is up to how you want to gauge progress. What we're saying is that stretching over the long term, is going to lead to ligament laxity. And there's nothing worse than ligament laxity. And Lane, you're coming around, but the things you recommend for injury prevention, such as sleep and exercise selection, are good, but rather useless when you consider the lifts you're doing are still injury prone. Let's go.